Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Yes, it's finally time to strap on the old orc armor, fire up the magical portal, grab your ten-sided dice, and fly off to an adventure on the back of a griffin in the land of, uh, does it have a name? I don't know. In Warcraft, the film adaptation of a popular video game series which unfortunately fares about as well as most video game adaptations. Dull, sluggishly paced, and oh so serious, this film could have benefited from a little less war and a little more craft. It's heavy on mythology but light on explanation. Loud, dumb, and completely devoid of fun, Warcraft is a complete waste of your time, the studio's money, and the considerable talents of its cast and crew. That's it for the capsule review. Let's get in depth. Warcraft, if you go by the applause that greeted the opening titles at the screening I attended, is actually pretty highly anticipated in some circles. I do not live in one of those circles. That's my disclosure right up front. I never played the games, I have no advanced knowledge of this world, and I'm going in purely as a film enthusiast. And, uh, sure, a journalist, why not? And so, I've got to tell you, this movie did not do a good enough job of explaining its world, its customs, its rules. There are several times, especially near the end, where characters' loyalties or motivations shift on a dime for vague or hastily defined reasons that just left me shaking my head. This lack of a proper explanation could be excused if there was an abundance of action, like, hey, there was just so much fun action stuff that there was no time to slow the story down and establish character traits or do world building or give exposition. But no, there's actually very little in the way of action in this film, especially for one based on a video game. Instead, there's just a lot of posturing, a lot of sulking and speechifying, a lot of people throwing around green and blue colored lights at each other. But you know what? We'll start with what I liked about the film, and everything I liked boils down to its look. Director Duncan Jones has made two great films before, and it's clear here that several times a conscious effort has been made to shoot scenes and characters from a more interesting angle than normal. I kept saying to myself, oh, that's a nice shot. Hey, that's a cool shot too. This different perspective actually helps. The visual effects, particularly the motion capture technology that turns this guy into that guy, it's really impressive. These characters, these costumes, the sets, whether real or virtual, they are all well designed if only they were used in the service of a story that made sense. And here, as best as I can understand, is that story. There's these orcs, see, and they live in this other dimension, and they're led by this creepy wizard orc dude named Gul'dan. He uses some kind of magic called the Fell, think the Force, only it's green, to suck the energy out of people, which he then uses to power a teleporting door into another dimension, and he sucks out some souls, and that gives him enough juice to send a few, but not all, of the orcs through the door. The plan is, he's gonna send through some orcs, and there they will suck the life out of a bunch of humans, and that will supply enough energy to power the door long enough to send all the rest of the orcs through, and then the orcs will wipe out the human race for good. One orc, Durotan, develops a conscience about all of this, and decides to help the humans defeat Gul'dan so they can live in harmony. Because as we all know, orcs and humans are born to live in harmony. Actually, the whole orc horde has some sort of twisted morality where completely sucking the life out of the human race is totally fine, but if a human takes on an orc in a fair fight, he's entitled to some sort of free pass or something. Look, I don't get it, okay? And that can't be my fault for not being into the games first. Maybe it all makes sense to the gamers who know this material, but the job of filmmakers is to tell a story that I can understand given only what's on screen, nothing else. A story that resolves itself instead of merely depositing the audience at a way station with a bunch of things up in the air. 
a story in which the characters' actions make sense as they're happening because they've been properly set up and foreshadowed beforehand. Near the end of this movie, when a few rapid developments occur that defy logic or reason, when, once again, the resolution of a conflict boils down to multiple characters hurling CGI-colored lights at each other until one of them wins, you're still not forgiven for that, X-Men Apocalypse. This film turned from something that was merely boring to something altogether more lame, a movie that aims for high drama, for catharsis, for shocking twists and irony that it didn't quite earn. Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Game of Thrones, heck, even Willow. These stories endure not because they take themselves seriously as mythological dramas. They happen to make sense. They take the time to set up their world for everyone who never caught the source material. They have comic relief, characters that are downright lovable, not just somber and full of purpose. A sense of wonder in the eyes of characters encountering magic. A sense of fear when encountering evil. Warcraft just has a lot of noise. It looks great, but it makes no sense. And the only benefit I can get from its release is that finally I won't be hearing this line anymore. This one line that has appeared in every trailer, in every TV spot, over and over, all year long. Whatever you plan to do, do it now! Oh, empty bag of popcorn for this rather empty experience. Warcraft makes Gods of Egypt look like campy fun by comparison. Oi. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel. You'll be able to view all of our other videos, and more importantly, click subscribe, so you can keep up with all the latest episodes, and so we can keep the lights on around here. In the meantime, leave your comments below, and click the thumbs up if you like what you heard. Thanks for watching, I'm the Colonel, and whatever you're going to do, do it now!